So a couple of weeks ago, while we were all patiently waiting for Elemental, Pixar released a trailer for their next movie, Elio. And I mean no exaggeration when I say that this may be the single most important movie in terms of connecting all Pixar films together. This is the movie that will finally paint the full picture of what is going on during every Pixar movie. So I'll be explaining how films such as Lightyear and WALL-E both tie into the narrative that will be told in Elio. While there isn't much to prove that Elio takes place in the same universe as other Pixar movies, there is one piece of evidence, Elio's phone case. This phone case is actually a reference to the Pixar short Burrow, meaning that within the universe of Elio, the short film Burrow is a form of fictional media, and in Turning Red, we can see that May has a sticker on her notebook of the main character from this short which proves that Elio and Turning Red are taking place in the same universe. And from there, we already know that Turning Red takes place in the same universe as every other Pixar film, thanks to the many Easter eggs throughout the movie. For the sake of time, I'll assume that you already know how all Pixar movies are connected. If not, I started a new series where I explain how every single Pixar film and short film are connected. But for now, I'll just be focusing on the importance of Elio. And that all starts with The Incredibles. In The Incredibles, we are introduced to a world of superheroes. The supers are forced into hiding by the government after a series of lawsuits. Then the movie jumps ahead and we are shown the world 15 years later in 1962. The reason I know it's this year is because it's shown on the newspaper that Mr. Incredible is reading during the dinner scene. At this point in the movie, he is being spied on by Mirage, who it later turns out was working for Syndrome and Syndrome's ultimate goal is to wipe out the supers. It's said that his only motive was to get back at Mr. Incredible for turning him down 15 years earlier. And while that's all you need to know to understand the plot of the movie, I want to look deeper into what's really going on here. Because what people don't realize is that the supers are actually hired by the US government and are united under the National Supers Agency. And the government was who sent the supers into hiding in the first place. So if that's the case, then why is it that Syndrome has an entire database of the locations of every single super? The only explanation is that Syndrome is actually working for the government himself, and was hired to wipe out the supers. Ultimately, the government's plan was always to create a weaker, more complacent society, which is how they get everyone to evacuate the Earth and live aboard the Axiom in Wally. As explained by Evelyn Dever in Incredibles 2, the purpose of the supers is to keep people weak. And now one way of achieving that goal was replaced by another, technology. Syndrome's goal was to simultaneously wipe out the supers while also being an innovator of technology, specifically spacecraft. We can see that he has a rocket in his lair which he eventually uses to launch the Omnidroid to Metroville. And this technology is what paves the way for space toys and merchandise to become extremely popular. Most importantly, Buzz Lightyear. As stated by the prospector in Toy Story 2, once the Sputnik satellite was launched, kids lost interest in shows such as Woody's Roundup, and now only cared about space toys. And I'll get back to Buzz Lightyear in a minute, but this is where our new movie, Elio, fits into this story. In the movie, Elio's mom is a government researcher of space technology. Now, I'm going to guess that this is taking place in 2024, when the movie is scheduled to release. I made a video back when this movie was first announced, and I said that this was taking place in the 80s. But with this trailer, we can see that they have cell phones, and it's clearly supposed to take place in modern day. At this point in the Pixar timeline, Earth has attempted but never made contact with alien life. But if you look at a movie such as Onward, which is clearly supposed to take place on another planet, mainly because of the two moons in the sky, we can see that inside Ian and Barley's house, they have a record from Dorothea Williams. She is the singer that Joe Gardner performed with in Soul. And it doesn't stop there. Later on in the gas station scene, we can see Triple Dent Gum, which is the gum brand from Inside Out, and the logo for Poultry Palace, which is from the Toy Story franchise. And speaking of, in Toy Story 4, there is the same image at the carnival that is on Barley's van. So my point being that Earth and the world of Onward have a clear connection. And Elio will finally bridge the gap between Earth and the universe beyond. And this is where we get to the significance of Buzz Lightyear. If you can remember back to before Lightyear was released last year, there was some confusion as to if Buzz Lightyear was a real person within the universe of Toy Story or if this was a fictional film. And during the first moments of the movie, it's said that this is a movie within a movie. And although that's the case, I believe that there are many elements of the real world present in this movie, such as the invisibility suits essentially being the same technology that Edna Mode incorporated into Violet's suit so that it turns invisible when she does. 
or the Wade water that can be seen in the vending machine as a reference to Pixar's then upcoming movie Elemental. Even the planet itself has very similar plant life to the planet of Takani Prime from Lightyear. So what I'm getting at is that a lot of what we see in Lightyear is not entirely fictional as you may believe, and if you followed some of my other Lightyear theories I've made in the past, you would know that I've been saying this for a while. And now with Elio, it all but proves that. Elements from the world of Buzz Lightyear, for example, the Galactic Alliance, which was an idea established way back in the original Toy Story, was supposed to be a sort of intergalactic government. That's essentially what's shown in the trailer for Elio, instead being called the United Advanced Species of the Universe, and it looks to be what inspired the Galactic Alliance from Lightyear. Even Star Command and Buzz Lightyear himself, I believe, are real inspirations for Lightyear. In Toy Story, Woody almost makes a sound as if Buzz Lightyear is a real person. You actually think you're the Buzz Lightyear? Hey guys, look! It's the real Buzz Lightyear! And in the Buzz Lightyear commercial, it called him the world's greatest superhero. And after all, this is a universe where real superheroes did exist. I don't know for sure if the government had knowledge of an intergalactic government before the events of Elio or if they're just finding out now, because Lightyear did release in the 90s in the Pixar universe, and Elio, as I said, is taking place in 2024, so we'll have to see about that. But it seems likely that a lot happened leading up to the events of Elio, a supporting factor being Pixar's 2007 short film Lifted. This is the short that played before Ratatouille in theaters, and we know that it's taking place in the Pixar universe because Tinny from the short film Tin Toy can be seen under the bed. And in Toy Story 4, he can also be seen which links this into the Pixar universe. In this short, an alien race attempts to abduct a man from his house. So obviously there were aliens that did know of Earth before Elio. The fact that Elio's mom is a government researcher supports the idea that the government continued to research space after the death of Syndrome, and eventually improved on the technology until the Axiom was created. But before we get to where the world is in Wally, the government succeeded in making contact with aliens, and after Earth is added into the United Advanced Species of the Universe, that's when the Galactic Alliance is formed and how planets such as the one from Onward have technology created by humans. Anyway, let me know what you think of this theory in the comments, thanks for watching and bye!